I think there is a there's a commonality between the structures of um, the UK, including all of the devolved nations um, and the Australian sectors, in that there is a mixed economy between government support, philanthropy, earned income, um, and that means that at, at at a really basic level, we're all speaking the same language. We all understand that if you're going to make a project happen, you're probably tapping into different sources. The UK uh, still funds a higher proportion from government support. And so, and I would say as a result of that, philanthropy is a little bit more um, fledgling here, although we have some brilliant trusts and foundations and incredibly fantastic um, individual donors. For me, one of the fascinating things is that the Edinburgh Festival's incredibly celebrated group of festivals exists for the last 75 years um, on almost entirely existing infrastructure. That is a really tricky thing. Uh, one of the things about my company, National Theatre of Scotland, is that we were very deliberately set up uh, for a without walls model. So the way that we serve the nation is by going out to village halls um, in Stornoway, going out to the great theatres um, across the country. And I think there's, there always needs to be a balance between investing in physical infrastructure and investing in people um, and artists and ideas. I think putting... Um, artists, organisations together uh, to start having the conversation, not knowing where they might wind up is really exciting. And I think one of the things that I've seen here is that it's like when you have um, a residency program and often it's not the intendant residencies that happen that, that create uh, the new work. It's the, the conversation across the dining table that two people who've been in this building have, start having that turns into a, a production or a new initiative in five years' time. So I think the being able to pay a small amount for those initial conversations with an ongoing commitment that you know the further conversation will have more development funding and that the ultimate productions will then have you know big chunky um, multiple hundred thousand pounds worth per production which is what it will take in order to to create something really viable and then have it move around either virtually or physically in the way that it needs to. Um, but, but funding each stage I think is incredibly important because uh, as, as Tony Burke beautifully said earlier on today, um, arts workers are workers. Audacious advice to the various ministers is, um, is think big, is invest in artists. It's really that simple. There are brilliant mechanisms around put lots of groups of people together, get them to come up with ideas. But the bottom line that we need is investment in the arts. It's a relatively small number when you compare us to just about anything else.